Nature has once again inspired great art from local artists. This time it's at the Balls Falls Centre for Conservation called Nature Through Needlepoint. We have the Niagara Peninsula um, Needlework Arts Guild here and they have done a jurid show of all kinds of needlework uh, that deals with environmental themes. So you'll see things on waterfalls and you'll see things on forests and things along the escarpment but interpreted through that kind of needlework. When people come to visit what can they expect to see? They can see a variety of exhibits in different media. You can see things that are dealing with quilting, with embroidery, all kinds of different media that the Guild uh, is involved with. And it's uh, different perspectives from different people, different styles, just like any sort of salon or jurge show. So some may be on the abstract, some may be uh, a little bit more representational, some may be photorealistic. Some of them are clothing. Uh, some of them are uh, items that you might carry like purses or things, or some are whimsical. And some of them are actually framed you know, works. So you'll see a variety of different expressions of nature. The Niagara Needle Arts Guild has been in existence since 1970 and over the past four years has developed a relationship with Balls Falls. June Poynton had the opportunity to curate this new exhibit. It's a guild that was formed in the mid-70s to promote traditional and contemporary needlework. And what was the criteria for the work that is on display here today? It had to be nature, be, uh, the inspiration had to be nature to run simultaneously with what Balls Falls offers. All of the work on display here was curated by June Poynton, who also had the opportunity to name the best of the show piece, which is called Beauty in the Eye of the Beholder. Well, that was done by Lynn Roberts, and she does black history, and it's done in a technique called Danish embroidery, and her inspiration is black history. And when people come out to this show, what kind of work can they expect to see? Quite a diversity. We have contemporary artists, we have Picasso-type artists, we have traditional artists. So everything in the field, it all had to be done with a needle. To see all this nature-inspired artwork for yourself, visit the Balls Falls Centre for Conservation anytime up until October 14th. In Jordan, reporting for The Source, I'm Brendan Sylvia.